Hello and welcome to my 100% walkthrough of Fember. Uh, it's a sort of narrative-driven puzzler, um, although there's no real complexity to the puzzle. It's primarily focusing on cooking and the story, which is about a South Indian family who moved to Canada in the 80s to raise a family. Now, the achievement's are fairly simple. There's only 16 in total and none of them are particularly missable. Um, there is one that technically would require a second playthrough, however I will encourage you to follow along exactly as I do, and you will only need to do one playthrough and go back to one particular section with chapter select, which there is, so thankfully you can always return that way. Now, just in terms of the gameplay itself, it is essentially right uh, left analog stick to move, A to interact, and it's about solving how you create certain dishes with the absence of the ability to check how to make them. You've had a recipe book that you brought over with you um, that has been destroyed and you are looking to repair. Now with this in mind, the majority of the game is cutscenes, it's about the story. I will not be skipping them because they're not skippable and I won't be editing them out, but I will include them just for the, the purposes of uh, keeping it a linear path. However, if you're not interested, skip through. I will have the uh, specific times for the achievements in the description. And then everything else I will just be mashing through. I'll talk in more detail when we're actually into the gameplay section. Okay, so just coming up now on the uh, first cooking section, you'll see we have the red book, that's our guide, which will have some information, but not all of the necessary information. Now, two of the achievements that we will be maintaining throughout is making sure we get the recipes correct first time every time, and as you'll see me uh, select now, we need to make sure that we get all of the flavour text, as they call it, the extra information. To do that, you'll bring it up with Y, and then in the... Uh, most cases it will be the middle option, it will have some sort of information. So it's, here it's about Idlis, and it has two options, you need to click on them and go through all of the text by pressing A to read all of the additional information. Now I'll also go through, you can see there is a hint option, which is the top option. If you're really stuck, you've lost where you're up to and you don't know what to do next, if you select this it will essentially explicitly tell you what you need to do. Of course, I will do that as well, um, but hopefully just for clarity's sake, if you need, it's there. So to start with here, we're going to put the uh, towel on top of the plate, followed by putting the batter into the plate itself, and then placing the batter into the tray, or the kind of cooker. And then you'll need to rotate the center point until the holes on the outside, so that in between the storage sections, face, or the one of them faces up, meaning directly below the actual batter. Then you'll need to add the water, place the lid on top, and turn on the heat. Now, I went through that quite quickly, so it might be worth slowing that down and just making sure you, you do that step correctly. As I said, you need to get every one of these correct in a single playthrough without making a mistake in order to have it uh, unlock the achievement. Um, I'll also go through, obviously, where we're up to in certain sections as, as best we can. Um, but if there is any issues, like I said, go back, use the hint function. That should unlock two achievements, the first of which is just for doing the first level, and the other is for getting a perfect on the any recipe. Now we will obviously be getting the one for all uh, perfect on all recipes later on in the guide, um, but just make sure that you get that first one to know you've done it right, and then follow on through.
Okay, now on to the second one. So this is going to be one that we do for a rice recipe uh, with our son. He's uh, wanting to build a rocket, and there are two achievements related to this, one of which we cannot get for it because this is for making the recipe incorrectly. Now, for the purposes of uh, the first attempt and the first run through, we will be doing it correctly. Um, so to do that, we will start by doing the usual. We will open the red book to see what parts of the recipe we do have. Um, and then after that, we will again press Y to check the uh, options under the uh, opportunity to see the flavor text, which hopefully uh, make it slightly clearer. Uh, once we've done that, we will add the rice to the blender. We will blend it and then add it to the sieve. Once we've sieved it onto the uh, kind of cloth on the table, you'll just need to shake it left to right repeatedly. This can be a bit frustrating, um, but you'll repeat this process three times total. So once you've got the clumps, you'll put the clumps in the blender, you'll blend it again, put the rice into the sieve, sieve it onto the, uh, the table, and then once you've done that three times, you should have all of the flour completely sieved through and you'll add it to the water. Okay, and then you'll go into the second section. Now, this is the section that we'll need to uh, mess something up on later, but for our purposes, again, this needs to be done correctly. Um, what we'll need to do is do the two options in layers in a certain combination. You'll see me do it here. Uh, go for the uh, flavor text option again, just making sure that you pick that middle option whenever you switch uh, areas. Obviously, even if it is the same recipe, you can have multiple flavor texts, so do that. Uh, add the water to the bottom of the cylinder, then add coconut to the bottom, followed by two layers of the flour, and then do the same again, add coconut, two layers of flour, and top it off with coconut. Once you've done this, you can add the top to the cylinder, put the cylinder into the uh, water cooker and onto the stove, and heat it up. This will complete the recipe.
Okay, now on to the next one. So this is going to be the third recipe. Um, is arguably the most complicated just because of the number of components there are with it. Again, we're going to do the same. We're going to check our ledger. Um, unfortunately, there is no instructions for this. And there is a new mechanic introduced, which is remembering. So we're going to check the flavor text, select the middle option when we press Y, and then we're going to go relive memories, essentially, to see how it is that we make it. Now, to do this, there'll be kind of... Uh, clouds with circles in them or arrows, uh, circular arrows, select each of these above each uh, individual option for the recipe. I believe there's uh, three in total and they explain the order of things. It is fairly self-explanatory but like I said I will go through this quite quickly just make sure you do throw, follow the steps the same way I do in the same order. Um, we will start with uh, what is the herbs and spices essentially. Um, and then we will move on to adding the things to be fried, but I'll go through those um, once I finish the memories. Okay, so yep, here we can see cardamom, bay leaves, uh, cloves, and the fennel seeds, they go in first. And helpfully, it'll tell you with a little text option that you have done it correctly, so you'll know once that's done. And once you've done the uh, herbs and spices, you'll next do the onions. The onions will go in first, followed by the chilies, the garlic paste, and then lastly the tomatoes. And again, you'll get a little kind of text information to let you know you've done it correctly. And now you need to add the individual uh, kind of spices on the side here. Add salt, add the meat, add the water, and that's everything. Fairly simple, just there is a lot of individual steps. Okay, so the second stage now. Uh, again, this is fairly simple. It's just about ordering it. We need to create a layer. So check your uh, red notebook and then just double check that you've got the uh, flavor text related to it. So what you'll be wanting to do is go through the memory again. The memory will let you know what needs to go on top, but not the order. The order is you need to remove part of the meat, so you'll use the empty bowl on the right hand side. You'll use that to select the meat, removing part of it. You will then add rice on top of it, add the meat back on top of the rice, add another layer of rice, and then add everything else on top. The order of which doesn't matter too much. Once you've put all of that on, you'll need to put the lid on top of the stove, uh, the cooker, and turn the heat on. Oh, it'll turn the heat on automatically for you, but once you've put the lid on, it'll start a, a little cutscene. 
and once you open it, you should get the achievement. Okay, and so this is another section with an achievement associated with it. Technically not a conventional recipe making session. Um, it's more of just kind of a mini game or interactive session. There will be a missable achievement after the end of it though, so I'll walk you through that. So first, just kind of follow the guide, rotate. This one's uh, left analog stick rotating clockwise. It can be a bit finicky, so just keep going. Uh, and you'll create three of these kind of uh, spiraling uh, I'm, not sh I'm not too sure what they are actually, unfortunately, I don't think it mentions them in the game. But once you've made all three, you'll go to deep fry them, and you'll just have to wait until they turn uh, golden brown, and then interact with them when they're highlighted to remove them.
Okay, this next one you just need to use the butter, or it might be ghee, I'm not sure, but use it to fill up each of the individual spaces in the tray. And it can, again, the controls can be a tiny bit finicky, so just make sure you get it in. Um, once you do that, there will be a, a secondary ingredient, I'm not sure what it is, some sort of batter possibly, but once you get that, you'll pour that into each of the individual spaces as well. Once they're all in, they'll start to turn brown and you'll need to flip them. Uh, they'll become highlighted when you're able to flip them, just interact with them using A. Do this with each and all of them. Eventually, once they're all flipped and all brown, you'll be able to interact with them a second time to remove them from the plate. And once you've done all of them, that'll be the end of this mini game. Okay, for this one, it's literally just pressing A. You'll need to wait until the knife is highlighted and then press A. And then flip and repeat. And then you'll use the uh, kind of uh, covering to smother the fish. You'll just drag it over top. And then once that's done, you'll put it into a pan. You'll wait until the fish is highlightable again and just flip it over. And then when it's ready, you'll just remove it from the plate. This next one is just adding ingredients repeatedly, so it'll move from left to right. Just drag them into the little pan add the ingredients one at a time. And very similarly again, you'll just need to add the ingredients into the pot. First remove the pressure cooker, you'll have to wait until the steam's actually released. Then it'll be highlighted and you can remove it. Once the lid's off, you'll be given several different ingredients. Just drag them and drop them in. And then with the second uh, ingredient, you'll have to actually pick the leaves off. Uh, hover over the highlighted area and select A to add them in. And again, this one's just about turning them over, so once the highlight indicator is on each of the chicken legs, you can just flip them. Once you've done this with all five of them, you'll finish them in here. Now, during the following cutscene, there is a missable achievement. You will be texted 
by your son to let you know that he's not coming and you will before you respond to that message you need to make sure you scroll through the entirety of the text options so using the left stick you'll hold up all the way to the start of the text chain go all the way back down i think you're safe but i would say go all the way top all the way bottom and make sure that you've done that before you proceed unfortunately the achievement doesn't unlock until after the cutscene, so there's no certainty with that but just make sure i'll mention it specifically in a second but yep here you go so you'll get this you'll just scroll all the way to the top make sure you've got to that very first message all the way back down read them if you want obviously the, there is lore and interesting aspects to it but for the purposes of the achievement if you just go back to the bottom clear the new message and continue and then after the cutscene it should pop Okay, now this is another missable achievement. This one is similar to the last one for getting all of the texts, this time on Kevin's phone. So you'll have an exchange with his boss or, or someone he works with about his culture and what he can bring to something that's being written at the moment. You'll just need to keep pressing A to go through the conversation. Don't press A at the end though. There will be a point where he says he's gonna look, look up his mum's recipe. At that point, you'll be able to scroll using the left analog stick. Now, I'll mention it directly when that point is again, um, but make sure before skipping, you go to the very top, very bottom, then move on, same as last time. So it's at this point when he starts to delete the text message, um, he kind of just acquiesces to the demands of his boss and uh, agrees to it. But before you press A and continue completely past this point, you will scroll up, scroll down, and then again, unfortunately, you do not get the achievement until after the following cutscene. So just make sure you do it at this point. You can come back with chapter select if you need, but obviously it's just convenient if you get it first try. Um, but once you've done that, continue on to the next co cooking section.
So another cooking section now, this time it's for a uh, kind of a chicken soup dish. We'll start by uh, essentially cleaning some or sieving tamarind uh, through the bowl. So what you'll do is you'll add the tamarind to the bowl and add the water. Make sure, sorry to clarify, make sure you've add, got the flavor text. Um, there is several during this recipe. Um, each stage often has their own, some don't. But once you've done that, add the tamarind to the pot, add the water, hold A on it to mix it. Once it's completely mixed, you will put the sieve over top the other bowl and pour the mixture through. Do this a further two times to complete this section of the recipe. Okay, on to the next section. This will have a new flavour text, so make sure that you've read that before you start to make the recipe. There is a number of uh, items for this recipe, but it isn't too complex. And additionally, you are fed clues as part of the actual progress of the recipe. So you will get these kind of lines. They're not quite perfect descriptions, but they will be very clear for the most part. Obviously, follow as I do. So grains, the translation is actually seeds. So we're going to add the uh, cumin seeds uh, and the, I think it's fennel seeds. But just, again, do as I do. Make sure you've got the flavor uh, text and then add each ingredient individually. I'll talk through in a second. Oh, so it was mustard seeds. Mustard seeds and cumin seeds go in first, and then you'll get the kind of little text to let you know that that's correct, and you'll get the next line to describe what you need to do. Now this one is to add the red chilies and the green curry leaves. Then you'll need to add the shallots and the crushed ginger garlic. And next you'll need to add the tomatoes followed by the tamarind water. And then lastly you just need to add the seasonings. Either order doesn't matter, you don't have to do it in any particular order as long as you add each of the seasonings. Okay, so this is the final bit. It's fairly easy. Uh, you'll just need to add the meat into the pot, followed by the water, then add the turmeric and salt. Place the lid on top with the pressure cooker. There is no flavour text for this uh, section. Once it's done cooking, you just need to remove the weight and lid. And 
and then for this final section you just need to add the uh, chicken stock to the uh, sauce and then add coriander on top. Again there's no flavor, se uh, flavor text for this section. And that's the achievement for taking stock. So this is the final section of the recipes of the main game. Um, we will essentially be making the same base recipe each time. And we will also unlock uh, three additional achievements, so that will be for getting each of the flavour texts, getting three achievements relating to the texts and flavour text, as well as the getting all recipes correct. So to start with, for this one, you will always add, uh, you'll have nine at this point, just to confirm. You should, uh, there'll be one additional that you finish with still missing, but we'll go back to trap to select. So starting this recipe, we will add water to the plate to cool it down, and then immediately turn the heat from maximum to minimum, just clicking on it, adding the batter to the plate, followed by surrounding it with oil. You'll have to rotate the batter to expand it. Again, this is just left stick clockwise. Can be a bit finicky, but just do that. And then, as I said, just cover the edge with oil. Turn the heat up to full. Use the doser flipper to turn it over. And then immediately use it again to plate it. So the base recipe is the same here, but we'll be adding different ingredients, we'll be a different opportunity to add things. There is also a missing achievement associated with this that I will talk about when we get to it. So same again, water, turn down heat, add the batter, spread it out. I got a little stuck here, there we go, and add the, uh, turn the heat up to, uh, you don't actually have to turn the heat up immediately because you'll be given this section. Now what you need to do here is add, um, check the flavour text as usual, and then add the ghee first, that's the only kind of real rule. You need to add the ghee first and not add the chilies at all, so place the ghee, add carrots, the shallots, anything, as long as it's not the chilies so don't add them add the idli powder if you want now turn it up 
and again use the flipper, turn it over and then immediately use it again to plate it. This should immediately give the achievement for not using chilies in the recipe. There we go. Again, check for the flavour text, then start the recipe as usual, pour water onto it, turn down the heat, add the batter, and rotate. Okay, so again, we need to add the a particular order this time, so we need to add the ghee first, followed by the uh, beaten eggs, then add the uh, curry, and then lastly the coriander leaves. Make sure you turn the heat up, and then flip it, and place it. And at this point you should unlock several achievements, obviously the flavour text one, the achievement related for the texts as well as the flavour text, uh, perfect, obviously if you've got every recipe correct first time that should unlock here, as well as getting uh, eating the doses. The doses does not unlock immediately for some reason, it's only just, it's just after the cutscene that it unlocks, um, but I will be going back to chapter select after we unlock that and I'll talk you through why. Okay, so into chapter select, we're going to choose chapter two. Uh, this is where we made the, the air quotes rocket ship that we launched. Now we'll be doing essentially the exact same thing. I've skipped straight past the cutscene here. You might have to go through it, but I'll have to just go through the recipe and explain it. You do exactly the same thing you did with the rice. You blend it, sieve it, blend it, sieve it until you have the rice water in the perfect portions. However, in the second section, the section where you build uh, it up into the pressure cooker. You will do the opposite proportions. You will start with the rice flour, followed by two layers of coconut flour, another layer of rice, two layers of coconut, and then one final layer of rice on top. I'll obviously show you this in the video as well, but once you've done that during the cutscene and when the father goes to demonstrate the uh, creation of it, it will collapse and the achievement will unlock. That'll be all the achievements in this game. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. If you liked it, leave a like. Otherwise, that's it from me.
Get in the fight.